Hi you guys, this is Misty with Cancerian Chronicles. Welcome or welcome back. We're going to go ahead and do a quick energy reading just to see what our messages are. Um, and we do already have one card that popped out, which is Happy Family. And we have um, Thinking Woman. And let's see if we have, there's also Thinking Man at the bottom. That's interesting. I feel like someone is uh, kind of thinking or pondering or wondering like how they can make a relationship work. Huh. Yeah, we have healer um, of the ages. I almost feel like this could potentially be like some type of um, opportunity to fix something that uh, someone may feel is broken or um, to just try to give someone another opportunity at some type of wealth abundance happiness type um, type thing yeah strategy it could be that you know that thinking man was at the bottom previously that this thinking man is trying to come up with a, a certain type of strategy um, in order to create some type of happy, I'm hearing happy wife, happy life. Hmm. It's like possibly this person does not want to lose this, um, thinking woman. This could be someone that's very, um, sophisticated, um, someone that likes to read or something like that. Hmm. Hearing a different caliber, a woman that's like a different caliber of woman than what they're used to. Um, under happy family, we have patience. I feel like someone is willing to put in the work or someone has been waiting very patiently um, to have this type of life, this, this type of um, home life, so to speak. We have contract at the bottom, um, but we also have at the top attachment. Seriously, this person, this could be someone, um, whether it's the thinking man or the thinking woman, but someone may already have the attachment is really trying to come out. Um, but yeah, um, an angel of love and there's some type of attachment like someone. Um, it could be that these two people have some type of contract where they are meant to be together um, as one. But I almost feel like um, one of these parties um, has some type of attachment, um, a previous relationship perhaps that they have uh, were meant to have cut off, but they never did. Let's see. Thinking woman. Okay. Yeah. Under thinking woman, uh, we have caring connections. I feel like someone, um, yeah, someone really is in love with uh, this other person. <laughs> door to romance is at the bottom and at the top we have rest and rejuvenation I feel like you know someone wants to spend the rest of their lives the rest of their life with this other person with said person is what I'm hearing hmm that's interesting pillar of the ages of the ages oh geez yeah we have um the temple path i feel like this is a, a very healing and very spiritual connection and it's also meant to be a connection that is very prosperous so we have woman holding a coin I also feel like just in addition to this person, like having some very serious, you know, um, feelings for this, uh, this person, whether it's the thinking woman to the thinking man, the thinking man to the thinking woman, or both of them, I feel like, um, there might be something with that contract where once they get together, there's, um, it's supposed to it's supposed to lead to some type of like them working together and coming up with some type of strategy that is going to lead to um, some type of wealth and abundance. But it comes through this woman. It comes through her. 
the contract. It's almost like it's a package deal. Yeah. Mm. We have um, envy at the bottom. And we have indecision at the top. I feel like there could be some outside forces or some outside people that are just kind of, you know, on the outside looking in, like they're looking at this relationship, envious of the relationship, and they could be um, kind of thinking of ways to interfere in said relationship. Yeah. Um, underneath indecision, we also have the fifth chakra. So it could be that someone is like expressing um some type of like doubts like they're whispering um i'm hearing sweet nothings to this to to one of these parties or both of these parties to create some type of doubt to get them into some type of repeated cycle with this eight this repeated cycle of like doubting a relationship or doubting their decisions or choices so that they don't take action yeah and here we go with this contract again there's something to do with this being a part of someone's contract. We have reconciliation is what I was guided to look at with this deck. Let's go ahead and see what else we have in here. It could be that someone is either, um, I don't know, like, Whoever is whispering in someone's ear, it could be that they're trying to, um, I don't know, maybe convince the other person as to why they should reconcile with them. Yeah, we have secrets being revealed. Someone may have said something to this person, um, I'm, th I'm feeling like a while ago, um, that made them kind of get back or reconcile with them. But whatever it is, like something is about to be exposed, some, some information is about to be released. Yeah, we have root chakra and uh, it says you're dealing with a poser. The secret that's about to be revealed may have something to do with like someone's security. It's making me think of a previous reading where it was like someone is dealing with a thief. So this person that someone reconciled with could be like taking from them, could be stealing from them. Yeah, we have Aries um, at the bottom. So that could be someone that is involved. Oh gosh, a lot are trying to come, a lot of um, cards are trying to come out. Hmm. Let's see if we can get just a couple more from here and then we're going to move on. Let's see. We go from all of them trying to come out to not, nothing's trying to come out. That's interesting. All or nothing. There's something about all or nothing for someone. Yeah, we have drug dealer is trying to come out. Um, this person is unhealed and unawakened, but that came in, you know, that's like in reverse. Um, they came out dramatically different here. Someone could have had a previous life or lifestyle, um, where they were, you know, into drugs, dealing drugs or something like that. And I don't know, like the person could have been like, um, threatening to use some type of past information against this person or it could be that they have children with this person um it says using your child or children against you someone's trying to use children yeah um someone in whatever this is like someone is just pulling away becoming distant move on so someone is uh, pulling away from the other person that could be like when, um, if, if there's some type of attachment, which, you know, I see that as like some type of um, karmic or something like that, like a, perhaps the relationship that should have ended, like someone reconciled with a person using kids. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we have mental illness. Um, someone could be like uh, mentally ill, um, becomes unhinged, so to speak. Um, we have 911. There might be some type of instance where someone is about to have to call um, 911 on this person due to, I'm hearing, erratic behavior, um, unauthorized use of spiritual gifts, possessive, and they want to use you as a placeholder. 
So you guys remember we saw um, that envy with the other deck and you know we have this possessive. Um, I feel like someone is kind of using some type of divination or they could be um, seeking the assistance or they've sought the assistance of some type of um, you know spiritualist tarot reader something like that to kind of spy or keep an eye on like what's going on with the relationship and it's just getting them more and more like um, envious and possessive when it comes to um, the relationship and um, that could be what leads to this person who possibly already has some type of um, mental illness that's going to cause them to break down even further um i also feel like you know someone like uh one of the parties it could be like in the relationship with this person like either until um they reach like a certain dollar amount in their bank account or until like the children are a certain age so they're using this person as a placeholder um but um yeah, I mean, they're in, and it's kind of like the longer that this person stays with um, that person, the kind of crazier this person is going to become is kind of what I'm getting from that. Yeah, we have cheater cheating. So someone in the relationship obviously is cheating if we, um, you know, have that. We have ancestors um, have stepped in. So it could be that someone's ancestors have stepped in to i'm hearing cease and desist so they might put an end to um you know i'm hearing the tomfoolery so someone you know they might be stepping in to um put an end to what's going on um i can't say what that's gonna look like um but yeah and then it says this will help you heal so either they're going to step in and put an end to the relationship that is like with the attached so to speak with the karmic or they're going to um, step in and put an end to the relationship like to the contract that this person was supposed to pursue and um, you know so either way someone's gonna have to um, kind of go into some type of healing mode so um, I'm hearing only time will tell I don't know if like um, ancestors or spirit, the most high is trying to give um, someone um, or someone's several people in the actual, I'm hearing fiasco, to um, make a decision. Like I'm hearing make a change. Like they're trying to give someone an opportunity to make the right decision or something like that before they step in. Um, yeah, we have throat chakra and we have judgment day. So I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like someone is yelling, like there's like some type of yelling match, something that might lead to um, some type of fighting or something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, at the we have living with regrets. So someone um, is not um, happy in the situation that they're in. Um, we have telepathic communication was on the other side, but that's like not enough. Um, I'm hearing as above, so below someone like it's not okay to just, um, you know, speak out like your request or try to connect with this person um, spiritually like someone is obligated to actually um, make the effort um, on the actual physical as well. Um, but someone is being guided to um, move on or move forward and to not look back um, I feel like this could be because someone was being presented with a gift with a new relationship because they were living with regrets like they weren't happy with what they had and so they're being provided with an opportunity and the guidance is for them to take that gift to take that opportunity and not look back um, but they're really slow to uh, make that uh, decision or make those changes um, we have coming back with an apology and um, online dating. So, I mean, I don't know if someone is like trying. I, I don't know what all of that is about. Um, someone could have met someone online or someone is like, you know, kind of dating around or something. Um, but they're going to come back with an apology possibly for someone. I don't know. Someone's meeting up with people online. 
I don't know, someone in here, someone, someone is meeting up with people online. It could be the thinking man, the thinking woman. It could be the, the, it's the, you know, attachment, so to speak, the karmic. So someone is doing that. Okay, anything else? What do we need to know? We have um, sun, paint this, um, paint the sun back into your sky. Someone, I, I really feel like this is about someone being given the opportunity to change the the direction of their story, to change, you know, um, what they have going on in their life because they're not happy with it. We have mirror, treat your body like the palace um, that it is. Mural, be your own first priority. Phoenix, how's that for happily ever after? And gold, you don't need someone else um, to fix you. I feel like someone is essentially like in some type of narcissistic type relationship. You know, I hate to say that, but that's just kind of like what that feels like. Um, someone may have been like uh, praying or manifesting or working on an opportunity for something different, for a different relationship. It's being offered. And it's like, I don't know, the person may not have expected it to actually happen, but voila, there it is. And I'm hearing what you think about that, Hama. So someone needs to actually act on it um, if they want to um, change the course of their life. So that's what I have. Um, yeah, we have sundress at the bottom. Do it for you. Uh, I think whoever this person is, they're slow to make this decision because they don't normally make decisions for themselves. They typically do things for everyone else. So, um, yeah. Um, and this is this person's opportunity to continue along that same path or to redirect and take another um, take another. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope that these messages were helpful. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, all of that good stuff. I love you. Um, if you would like a personal reading, check out the description box or you can send me an email, um, you know, readings at cancerianchronicle.com. You can um, check out the website Cancerians chron cancerianchronicles.com. So I love you and have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye now. Mwah.